for anybody who has watched this channel before. <clears throat> you know that I've had a number of things to say about what goes on around us. Uh, anyone who's watched this channel knows I've written a couple of books in an effort to express how I feel, what I'm thinking. Hasn't been a very good job, but maybe I'll try to not pace and I saw the most horrific thing that I've ever seen in my life. Just thinking about it and I'm I'm actually starting to shake. Like I'm my whole body is trembling. I um I'm very, very affected by what I saw the other day. And uh, I think, I know that if you've watched this channel before, you've, you've seen this happen before, you've, you've watched videos of mine where I, um, I'm, I'm very affected by what I'm talking about. I have two sons, and I have two stepsons. The last book I wrote was dedicated to these four young men. And I wrote that book because I thought if I had any wisdom to share with my four boys uh, to try to help them I didn't expect to see this in my lifetime. Uh, I expected it to happen, and, and I think the writing, obviously the writing was on the wall because this happened, so... I wrote a couple books, neither one of them sold. Um, I tried a YouTube video or YouTube channel uh, two or three times. Uh, they never amounted to anything. I tried writing blogs. Um, I spent thousands of dollars on, you know, marketing and advertising and you know, you can't seem to get a message out to the public unless it has to do with what is being talked about in the news. However, some have asked why, why do you think this is happening? Well, I'm going to answer that like this. First of all, it has nothing to do with what I think. In a situation like this, where there are events happening, people are involved, uh, you can dissect the situation, you can tear apart what's happening and you can break it all down and none of this has to be what you think. This can all be based on truth and fact and information that you have found. Anyways. Why, why is this happening? This is happening. The other day, I was heading south, stopped at some lights and some school buses. You know, I'm stopped heading south and they're turning left from eastbound to northbound. So the kids that I saw would have been on the driver's side of the bus, two buses. 
then of course you know the children are <clears throat> one per chair uh, they all have masks on and every one of those children they looked like they had had the life taken out of them. Their, their poor eyes, they were just empty and hollow. They normally, when you see the school buses at this time of the year, you know, the kids are talking to each other and they're playing, you know, um, The kids were just sitting. They were just lifeless. And that's why this is happening. This is happening because you are willing to make your children suffer. And you are willing to make other people's children suffer. If you can't see by now that this is all a plan-demic, this video doesn't help anyway, so you may as well shut it off. The reality is, is that we are such a disaster that uh, the bankers and the corporate elite want to get rid of two thirds of the population I would imagine that they probably look out into society and see the way that we act and they want two-thirds of us gone because they are embarrassed. I, I, I don't get any of this. I don't understand how you are willing to do this to your own children. Now, I don't have children at home anymore, so... I had never thought about this and I had never thought about how this impacts us. It's only been the last couple of days, but now that I've seen, I've seen your children and I've seen your children and, 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 and the way they looked. If any of this could even be realistic, we would have never made it this far. The other reason why we're here is because you're more concerned with some child's game or a reality television program. You are more concerned about that than you are about why the people we look to for safety and guidance are creating viruses that get us sick. You know, I've heard more guys worried about when's hockey coming back on than why are they doing this to us? Ignorance is a choice. <sighs> this is unbelievable. If you believe that the masks work, I challenge you to research out of mainstream media. And rather than just confirm what you have been told, why don't you research what you are told and find out if what you are told is accurate information. If the masks could help us, the masks would have to be sealed to our faces. There would have to be a separate air tank. There would have to be some sort of a charcoal or carbon filter for the air we expel. Um, I, I don't get this. This is, I mean, all you have to do is consider the way that you work and then when I say that, you bitch and complain that I'm not a doctor, so how dare I, yet, yet you are a human being.
There is no excuse for you to not know how you work. Yet I'm at fault for saying something because I'm not a doctor. How do you not understand how you yourself works? Try explaining that one. This is happening because you refuse to find out the truth. This is happening because you're more concerned about a hockey game or a reality TV show or free money. Any of you who are sitting at home right now getting paid COVID assistance or whatever it is, um, there's going to be a price. There's going to be a price to pay coming up. This ain't going to be peaches and cream for much longer. The only way, the only way that we stop what has been started now, the only way, this is population control, people. If you haven't figured that out yet, then uh, go ahead and leave whatever ridiculous comments I, I want actually to have a list of the most ridiculous. I want to actually do a today's top 10 because if you can't see what they're doing, then... <laughs> but you have to stop voluntarily being propagated. That's the only way. And if all of us don't get rid of our televisions, stop watching the news, stop supporting the sports and the movies and the celebrities... Right now is the perfect opportunity for you to dedicate time to yourself. You have to stop you have to stop identifying as a political party. You are not a Republican, you are not a Democrat, you are not a liberal, you're an, you're not a progressive conservative. You're a human being. And somewhere along the way, you thought that one of these ideologies of someone else's was going to work for you. And because you didn't want to be Catholic, they invented Protestant. And because you didn't want to be Protestant, they invented Anglican. And because you didn't want to be Anglican, they invented Mormonism. And because you didn't want to be a Mormon, they invented the Jehovah's Witness. And because you didn't want to be a Jehovah's Witness, it's like a big business and you can... You can watch it being played out. All you have to do is sit back and look at the world around you. You should want this to stop for the sake of your own children. I can't believe that you're doing this. It's time that we take a stand. It's time that we step up and take a stand and you know what you got to stop wearing the masks and you got to tell them to shove their social distancing you know uh, covid not a virus a virus has shut the world down but it makes a difference between five feet and six feet or six feet and seven feet get bent how fucking stupid do you think i am And I went into a restaurant today. I am not wearing a mask. I did not wear a mask. But everybody else in there wore a mask. And then when we sat down to eat, you can take your mask off. <laughs> you don't see. You don't see what the hell is going on. 
How ignorant do you have to be? If we don't stop this, and like right now, we're not going to be able to, right? People need to go to jail, right? A president and a prime minister need to go to jail. And I don't know about the mayor and the police chief in your city and or town, but the, one, the ones in, in my city, they did not protect us. They let this go on. They need to be in jail. Any person, any person who has stood outside of a Walmart, doesn't matter, doesn't matter how old you are, any person who has told someone else, you need hand sanitizer and you need a mask, you need to go to jail. It's not about safety. It's about population control. It's about slavery. It's about what they're going to do to your kids. You got to start looking into what they're doing. You got to start asking your kids questions. Start talking to your kids. I've been listening. All I don't I don't have kids at home anymore. You better start listening to your kids and and what's happening at school. You might want to think about getting your kids out of school like pronto. Please start researching this and please start looking into this COVID shut the world down, yet they told us they were doing this event. This is unbelievable. Guys and girls, we're about to lose all of our freedoms. Any freedoms that you thought you had, well, you're about to lose every one of them. And so am I, so I get to say something about it. And I get to say something because by you not questioning what's going on, it's affecting my life. So I get to say something. Why is this happening? This is happening because you think that your religion or who you vote for is going to make a difference. And I could sit here and tell you that the only way that you're going to change anything is within yourself and that you should forget about anyone and anything external. You're not going to listen to that, not for one second. You're going to think that by voting for someone in two years from now that you're going to make a difference. You don't want to hear that you yourself could make a difference right now just in what you're thinking about and how you're thinking about it we got here because all of us look outside of ourselves for change there's lots of other reasons too we let our kids play video games and we poison the crap out of our kids with what they, some, well, okay, not some, a, a lot of you should go to jail for the way that you feed your kids. You're killing them slowly. You're making them sick. It's really frustrating to watch, actually. This is happening because probably 17 people will end up watching this video because everyone is more worried about sports and celebrities and who's on the red carpet and whatever else you think is important. If each and every one of us don't change what we're doing and like fast, we're done. We're already halfway.
done, actually. It's too bad this had to happen.